Hello guys and welcome to my channel. This video is going to be about setting up this Wacom Intuos graphic tablet which I bought because I wanted to uh, teach online and I thought it was a pretty good idea and I found this pre-owned tablet at a very reasonable price. I think it was like $50 or something like that and I like I told you it, it was pre-owned uh, but I but I, I had lots of trouble, uh, troubles uh, setting this up on one of my computers. And I wanted to share this, uh, this, this experience with you by just going ahead and uh, install it in another, in another computer. And I'm going to show you the big mistakes I made. Because if you came to this video, that is because uh, you are in a lot of trouble too okay as you can see the only thing you need is the cable uh, well it was the only thing that the, can, the tablet came with the table on the pen and the tablet which is a pretty slick and in a very very uh, good shape tablet but since this is not a an unboxing video because i know i don't know crap about this i'm just gonna use it to write down Let's just go ahead and I'll show you how to properly set it up in less than five minutes and not five hours, which it took me and almost burnt the crap out of it. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's begin by saying that this is a Windows 7 64-bit computer and the first mistake that I made was to plug the tablet to the computer. Do not plug the tablet to the computer, not just yet. Just but if you're watching this video, that means that uh, that that is the first time, probably the first time you did, the first thing you did, and uh, it was a mistake. And that's why you're not going to be able to make it, to get it to work. So, the many mistakes I made were corrected, but there is three mistakes uh, that I had, that I had to... Um, uh, highlight here which I named error number one, error number two, and error number three. Let's just open this screenshot just to see what it's all about. If you get this error because the, okay, you, you can't work with your tablet because you're missing this uh, runtime 110DLL file in your computer this is really simple. This is really simple to fix. I'm going to leave you a link to the description because this archive is kind of hard to find and I left it in the description. This is the file where you can download it. Oh crap. Just minimize here. Okay. And what, you, and what you're going to do here is to uh, unzip it. Unzip it maybe in your uh, desktop. Um, open this this file. So you get the file for the 32 bit and the 64 bit. What you do is double click and copy this file. Okay? And go to my computer. Double click on your operating system. Go down here to Windows. Go to 60 to system 32, double click and just paste it somewhere here, doesn't matter, just copy it and then go to the next file which is sys 64 right click and paste, okay? So the problem should be solved. You're just gonna go out, <coughs> sorry, just go ahead and restart your computer and you're all set if you get that that uh, error. If you get error number two, which is uh, the application was unable to start correctly, 0xc, bunch of crap and ends with B, well this means that your computer is just a piece of crap, just like mine. And the problem was that you downloaded the drivers which are not suitable for your computer. So you need to go to a low older version. 
Now for that, so let me show you the, from the beginning. You type in Google, welcome into drivers, and go to this, to this um, web page, into support. Welcome. This is painful. Come on. <coughs> Sorry. So that means that uh, you downloaded this one, the first one, first one here, you know, Windows, for the Windows computer for Windows 7, 8, and 10. So that's not gonna that's not gonna work for you. So what you need to do is to uninstall, uninstall what you ever whatever you did with this, and just go to older versions. The one that worked for me was this one. Driver 6.3.15 slash 2 or, okay, I think 2, I don't know, Windows 7, 8, okay, so you download it and uh, you just execute it like, okay, like I know you know, it's normal for you to install a program, program and if it doesn't, it doesn't work for you, you're just going to go and uh, Download this one, which is for XP, Vista, Win 7, 8, and 10. And I think this is going to work uh, pretty good for you. And you uh, install that program. Okay, let's go to error number 3. The tablet driver was not found. Or your tablet is not found. Whichever you get, that means that you screwed up from the beginning to the end. So what you need to do is to go to all programs, to all the programs, accessories, and you go to uh, system tools, this is in English, and go to restore system. So this is an irreversible uh, process and you have to pick a, uh, a restoring point. I don't have a restoring point, and that sucks. Uh, okay, but I hope you do. I haven't installed a tablet in this computer, so I think I'm gonna, I can make it work right now without making any mistakes. Okay, so you restart the computer. You rest, you restore your computer and restart your computer, and uh, you're all set to go. You start from the beginning. So you go ahead and download the drivers that are suitable for your computer. In this case, I downloaded this one, as I told you. And there you go. You just go ahead, and after you finish, you restart your computer. And when your computer is on, you just go ahead and plug the tablet. Plug it in. No problem. And you should be fine from there. So let's just uh, do all this. In this computer. Uh, okay, I hope I, I'm not. Okay. okay. Showing folder. Let's just cut it. I'm just gonna cut it because I don't like stuff being laying around on the download uh, file. Go ahead and double click. Just run it as an administrator. And it's going to take a little longer than I expected. I can see that because this is moving so slow. Okay, it's moving fast. It's not such a piece of crap after all. That's the other one. <laughs> you know. Go ahead and unbox the, the tablet here. Just to get ready. Okay, okay. You know, after installing this tablet in other computers, my other computer and other computers, just uh, as a research, I did it. Just not to make any mistakes for this video. 
I kind of found this uh, tablet to be a pretty badass tablet for me to work. Even though I'm not going to use it to draw or stuff like that because I know nothing about drawing and I don't really care. I'm just going to go ahead and teach. But I found it to be pretty awesome. Is out, but I'm not gonna plug it just yet. So I can avoid of making all the mistakes I made. Okay, didn't read, but I agree. Okay, be patient. This is gonna take a few minutes. Let's pause this video, right? Okay. I'll see you in a second. So, okay. so the computer is asking you if you want to restart your computer now, and you do it, and then plug the tablet. Okay. Okay. After you um, restart your computer, just plug the tablet to your computer. Well, let's see what... what the heck? Let's see what happens. There you go. Let's let it plot in. Let's see what's going on. Let's put here. If you see this, Intus, Intus PTS, that means we are going in the, right, in the right track. If you don't see a bunch of USB crap by uh, Windows, probably going to have a lot, of mis a lot of problems here. But if you see this, Intus PTS, uh, then appearing in your screen, you're just about to be okay. Let me translate that for you. The Wacom tablet is ready to use. And the way you see it, the way, the way you can see that your Wacom tablet is ready to use is that because you have a solid white point in the, a white light in, uh, on top of your tablet, as you can see. And now, this is the tablet, the tablet working. Look, I'm just going to click here. Oh, was impressive. <laughs> feel so happy. Okay, let's find some accessories and I'm going to show you what a badass tablet this is. Let's open this up. Uh, this is where... Okay, <laughs> check this out. Y equals two x plus five. Look, C A M P. Oh my God! I'm so happy. You guys didn't know how happy I am of being able to work with this this tablet. This is tilt because I got straight the tablets straight. You need to tilt it a little so you can write, you know, like here, straight in a row. And you can, and this is this is just with paint. This is paint. This is a crappy program, and I know there is a better program for me to work with this. But okay, guys, this is it for now. I, as you can see, I don't know how to drive crap here. So, let's just grab it. Oh my god! God. Cut. Okay, come on. Cut. Yeah, there you go. 
This is awesome. You can move it here and here and everything. Okay. <laughs> I'm so stupid sometimes. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope uh, uh, this video was uh, useful to you. And good luck with your tablet. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.